Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Camilla and Sean Mendez. All right, so I'm doing the Astrology um, Celtic Cross, and I'm going to just do two cards, one for Camilla and one for Sean. So let's do Camilla first. And we have protection. So she is being protected here from any negative energy. Let's see. And what do we have for Sean? We have forgiveness. Okay. And then we have their combined energy on the bottom. Oh, wow. We have love. Oh, wow. So these two truly do love one another. So there have been some lessons learned, I feel, here about worth and how treating each other. Um, I feel like this is something that they both have learned from. Let's see. What is their emotions here, their moon? Let's see. What's their emotions here? The answers you need are coming. Thanks, Spirit, for <laughs> clearing that up. And that was for her, Camilla. And let's see about Sean here. A new start is coming. <laughs> A new moon. So that might be for this new moon coming up here on the 19th of April. Now let's look at their combined emotions together. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. Okay. That's so awesome. Okay, let's look at the rising. How others view these two here. Okay. Just going to pull one out for her. And we have... The Lost Star, Rebirth, Out of the Darkness, Into the Light. Wow, okay, so she's being reborn here. She may have had some negativity go on, or karma, maybe um, she could have somebody paying some karma for whatever they did to her, so I'm not sure who's if that's her or not because this is how others are viewing her so others may feel she's going through some type of karma and then we have for Sean the star mother loved the universal mother loves and supports me totally so everybody sees him as being very loved here by everybody everybody loves Sean here so let's see what their combined energy is for how others view them. The amber star, let go, I surrender and allow myself to grieve. So I feel like whatever they've grieved over um, from the loss of this relationship, I feel like one of them really felt lost uh, and needed to come out of some type of negativity. Maybe that was Camilla. And then we have the Star Mother Loved, which is Sean's card. And I feel like whatever this was, by letting go here and surrendering, I feel like this is going to allow this process to play out. Where a new, possibly a new um, beginning can start, because you have to end something in order for something new to come in, right? Let's look at their Venus right now. Their Venus. This one wanted to come out, so I'm going to take that one for Camilla. Self-care. So perhaps there wasn't enough self-love here. So this is looking after herself and understanding her worth, okay? So let's get one for Sean. This one seems to want to come out. Retirement, perhaps retiring uh, something here. Doesn't mean that he needs to retire from what he's doing, but there might be something he's needing to give up. 
Let's get two more cards here. One more for her and one more for him just to find out about this Venus here. Grief work. Okay, so there may be some self-care needed. Perhaps there's some grieving that needs to be done here on her side. Maybe she lost someone in her family or just grieving over the loss of that relationship with Sean. Let's see, what's this retirement for Sean? What does he have to retire, give up here? What is he having to give up or retire? Let's see here, there's two, I'm gonna take both. Heavenly signs. So there might be something he is getting signs from uh, heaven above, from spirit, spirits, um, uh, <laughs> spirit, angels, ancestors, or spirit guides that are trying to give him signs here about seeking and finding something. So there might need to give up on something and see something differently or find out something. There's signs here for him to see. Let's see what their combined energy is motivation so this might motivate the two of them once they get over whatever this is to maybe come back together what is their Jupiter their luck here what's their luck for her for Camilla that one wants to come well we got a twofer wow okay we have the thinking man and blossoming abundance wow and we have three four and six here wow so she's got two cards here so <laughs> the thinking man she might be thinking about Sean quite a bit and how much abundance she felt with him and that could be meaning love um it could be meaning fun and happiness and peace and just all the good things um, that came with that relationship. Let's look for him, for his luck. Ooh, storm warning. So he may have had some, he may, um, with this ending, I feel like it was a bit of a storm for him to get through. Uh, could be that there's some type of warning he's needing to see here with these heavenly signs and finding and seeking. And retiring it could be some anger that he needs to um, let go of storm warning that's number 10 that's an ending so maybe something has to end before it can begin let's get one more card for him ah his heart chakra needs to open this is about compassion towards self and others sharing healing energy and this may be that he comes in for her about some type of grief here so this may be having to do outside of the relationship where he comes in to help her get through some type of grieving here this could be about the relationship as well so Let's see, what is their combined energy here? Door to personal healing and happiness. I feel like this may have to do with their relationship. Healing this and letting this go so they can really explore this happiness. Healing whatever went wrong and letting it go in order for just having those lessons be learned and seeing them as lessons because there is a lot of love here right so somebody hasn't taken action though when i i got when i looked underneath here action is in reverse so this may not have happened just yet but something's going to motivate this to come together what is their relationship like right now let's have a look for her uh -oh, chemistry there's a lot of chemistry here and this may um, affect her finances and career right now. So she might be getting in that self-love or be through that already where she knows her self-worth 
And like I said, um, this may have something to do with losing somebody here. Self-care and grief work. I, I keep feeling that. So let's see. For him, let's see. I got two cards for Sean Mendez for a relationship with Camilla. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So some there might be some mutual friends here that help um, get these two together in a sense where perhaps he finds out through a mutual friend about some grief grieving that she's doing. And that might be where this message gets passed along to him. Uh, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And I feel like he knows it. I feel like she knows it. <laughs> Well, let's see what their combined is. Oh my goodness, what? Check this out, wedding, what? <laughs> wow. So they both know there's so much chemistry between the two. They really make each other happy. I don't know if you've ever noticed when they're by themselves, um, there's no real smiles or anything. And when they are together, when they were together, big smiles, big happiness, a lot of laughing and fun that they had. And you can actually see it through the pictures. So this would not surprise me at all. This situation involves marriage. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's look at what's influencing this right now. What's the Juno for Camilla? Let's see what is going on for her. Okay, that one wants to come. Oh my god! <laughs> Soulmate, what? Oh, look at those little penguins. Aren't this not so sweet? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so she knows he's her soulmate. Come on, you guys. That there's stuff they're gonna have to figure out on their own. I mean, we all know. We can all see. <laughs> but they're gonna have to figure it out for themselves before this comes back together here. Wow. Go the distance. Wow. So this is, wow. So she knows this will go the distance. This will be a long marriage. I feel like they'll be married for a long time. What about him? Let's get two cards for him, for his Juno and influences here. I feel like this is influencing, um, I, it's almost like not even an outside influence. I feel like they know it within themselves here. They may influence each other here. Happy, happy is what Sean's card is. He knows that she makes him happy. Like this is, this might be somebody telling them this. You know they're, they're your soulmate, Camilla. You know this will go the distance or he will go the distance for you. And it might be somebody telling him, you're so happy, happy when you're with her. And he knows this. And <laughs> you can go around and around all you like, but you know. And I feel like this round and round it may be what he's thinking in his head about whether or not to go back around. And it may be something that keeps reoccurring for him. Let's find another one here. <laughs> yang. He is the yang to her ying, I feel. <laughs> Let's get one for her. Tick tock. Now, this could be her biological clock for children. Um, maybe she wants to have children by the time she's 30. Uh, let's see what they're combined. All that glitters. Okay, so that usually means is not gold, but I feel like when it comes to these two, they really do glitter off each other. You know, it's not the same meaning from what I see here. There's two masks here, OK? 
okay, with spirit in the background. And I feel like they make each other shine. <laughs> like, it's crazy, but, you know, I just really get that beautiful sense that they glitter off one another like when they're together it's like glitter everywhere like it's such a big shine coming off the two of them you know and that's kind of all oh, and it says the fates underneath wow see <laughs> the fates so i feel like this is a gift these two i i feel like they they know that each is a gift in their own way. Let's see, what is their mid-heaven here, their career? We kind of know what they do, but let's see what Spirit has in mind for these two. Oh, this is for her. Spiritual teacher, so she may be spiritual. And this may be something that she ends up doing on the side or gets into. You heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. So maybe she ends up doing something spiritual here. What about him? What's something for him here? For Sean. What do we have for Sean? Teaching. So they both may end up being some type of spiritual teacher. Or she is a teacher in some way and so is he. You inspire young people to learn. So you... They both are teaching something here. And if it's not spirituality, it could be about music to children. Okay. Wow. And travel is their combined energy. I feel like one is going to travel to the other. Or it says their life purpose involves traveling, which would ring true because they do do tours. So maybe there's some tour they're going to help teach something or they'll teach each other something along the way let's look at what their ancestors want them to know for Camilla please what is her ancestors wanting her to know ah I feel like there may have been some karma um in her DNA at one point and I feel like that may not be the case any longer let's get one more card for her meadow vulnerability and that may be the karma is being able to be vulnerable maybe that is tough for her to do or it's easy for her to do and gets manipulated because of her vulnerability so I'm not sure which way it is, but we'll see what happens here for his. Let's see for Sean, please. Ah, the dawn, a new beginning here. And I feel like this is what he definitely wants. And I feel like maybe the karma in her DNA, she may have been the karma. And he had to go through it in order for this new beginning to come in. And look at what he got. He got Dawn, New Beginning. And then we have Stone People, Vigilance. So this is being, um, what's oh, a good way of putting this? Uh, hmm. Just being, um, <laughs> I don't know how to put that. Um, just, I guess you could say, um, keep going, um, stay true to yourself, uh, keep doing what you're doing or on that path or just maybe look up vigilance if you're not sure. I, I don't know if I'm really getting that across. So in any case, there's a new beginning, but somebody's going to have to have that, I feel like almost patience here to go the distance they're, they're gonna it's gonna happen let's see what's their combined <laughs> oh my goodness so there's no doubt about it there is definitely love here and compassion when it comes to these two so wow this is crazy lots of love here we got love love wedding wow prosperity 
Let's look at what their fortune is here first. What do we have for fortune before we do their north node? So what is their fortune? What's their wealth? Oh. <laughs> so whatever wealth it is, there's going to be some seduction here on her side. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation. There may even be third party interference. So depending on who is with somebody, when these two come back together, perhaps Camilla's with somebody, they're going to want to get back together. And there might be that chemistry that's here that could be um, playing interference depending on who's with somebody here at this point. So let's get another card for her. Passion, didn't I say? There's a lot of chemistry and passion here. So this is chemistry, again, like each other equally, having fun. Didn't I say having fun but earlier? These two, when they get together, there's definitely a shine that comes off them. Let's see, what about for him? So she's, <laughs> there's some seduction here and passion that she really feels for him. And what about his side? What do we have on his side here? Date, he may ask her out on a date. So this is getting back out there, setting a date. Oh, setting a date maybe for a wedding, what? <laughs> Let's see here, what is the fortune on his end here? One more card for him. Ah, coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and having a friendship. So, <laughs> whatever friendship they may have, um, there's definitely wanting to have more than that with the seduction and passion here. And it may be starting off as innocent, but <laughs> let's see what they're combined. Oh, wow. Palm tree, stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Wow, that's beautiful. Perhaps they end up going on a date that involves going somewhere tropical. <laughs> let's look at their north node. This is their current life right now. What do we have for Camilla? That one wants to come out right there. House, okay. So perhaps she's bought her own place um, or she's thinking about what she wants to get for a house. She may have already done this. She may be looking at real estate at this point. Let's see what we have for him. What do we have for Sean? Oh, something to do with bad health. And there's some grief work here. So I feel like this might be somebody, like I said, the grief work. So this might be something he's dealing with that she feels for his family. So it might be on his side, not hers, but she knows this person and cares about whoever it is that's in bad health in his family. So she knows whoever this is. So let's see here. I wanna get two more cards. One more for her. <laughs> wealthy man, okay. Well, do we know any wealthy men that she knows? <laughs> like Sean? <laughs> what about this bad health for Sean right here? Ah, look who he's thinking about. There's thoughts here about her. So he may be thinking about reaching out to her or their friends may get some type of news about this bad health here and how he's thinking about her that she might want to know this information and that might go through their French uh, situation here. And that's where all that comes back into play with this passion, the chemistry, thoughts of a wedding perhaps, um, and the love, like we got love everywhere here. Oh my goodness, and look at their combined energy, unexpected income. Wow, okay, that's so beautiful. They are really going to 
I feel like come together here. What is Spirit's advice for these two? Let's find out what Spirit has for advice here for Camilla and Sean. Moon cycles. Okay, well, we're coming up to a new moon on the 19th here. Archangel Hanel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize on these cycles. So definitely being paying attention to the moon cycles is going to affect something here. <laughs> Let's see, can I get one for him? What's the advice for Sean? Healthy lifestyle, so Sean, Let's see, Archangel Raphael, eat a health, healthy, eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regular for optimal health. Wow, and this is going to help him in the long run, I feel. This is having that lifestyle. This may have to do with spirituality. Um, and this might be something that maybe she is going to get into if she isn't already. And he may join her in this by taking on some of this. Oh, wow. Okay. So we have patience and outdoors. I feel like this is for her, the outdoors. Archangel Jafal, Jafiel, Jaf, Jafel? <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to look it up. Go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Now, this might be for a song or something along those lines. And for him, it's patience. Archangel Japhael, again, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and Patience. Wow. Okay. And what's their combined advice from spirit? You are safe. So they're both protected against lower energies and guarding. They, the angels are guarding them and their loved ones and their home. Wow. So they are protected. I feel like they may even be chosen ones here that are meant to uplift people through their music and they do just that especially when they do songs together well guys this is what i have for sean and camilla wow right this is crazy so i do believe i said a long time ago when i first started doing the celebrity readings that these two would get back together at some point. Now, there was lessons that needed to be learned here, and I feel like things are gonna be motivated towards coming back together. So this is beautiful. I really love this. If they are already dating, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't looked these two up. I don't really follow celebrities and I kind of like it that way because then whatever my predictions are for the celebrities, um, it really rings true to my readings because I'm not getting any other information from any other source. So, but this is what I have. These are what the messages are for these two. And I really feel that there is so much love between them. And they're going to help heal one another. They're so happy together when they are together and things are good. Something has to be let go here, though, of maybe some re resentment, um, maybe getting some forgiveness, one from giving forgiveness to one receiving forgiveness. But there is something to do with forgiveness here. So in any case, um, Thank you all for all the donations. If you do want to donate, you can donate to the PayPal account in the description box below. You just click on the link and it will come into a PayPal um, page where you can donate. So through PayPal. So that 
is what I'm going to leave you with. I really enjoyed doing this reading. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I liked giving it. And we will see you guys all next time. Stay blessed, and we will see you later. All right.